people and delivering essential supplies to the people of Berlin, Germany. Russia blocked all road, rail and water routes into West Berlin in 1948, hoping to force the Allies to abandon their sectors of the city. The Allies responded by airlifting supplies to West Berlin for more than a year until Russia lifted the blockade in 1949. Here are some of the things the U.S. did during the Berlin airlift, led the operation. The U.S. Air Force was the lead organization in the Berlin airlift, and the overall commander was General Lucius D. Clay, who was appointed by U.S. President Harry Truman. Airlifted supplies, the U.S. flew more than 200,000 flights during the airlift, delivering around 2.3 million tons of supplies to West Berlin, including food, coal, and other essentials. Built and operated airports, the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers built new airports and expanded existing ones to handle the increased traffic. The U.S. also operated two major airports in West Berlin, Tegel, and Tempelhof. Coordinated with allies, the U.S. worked closely with its allies, including Great Britain and France, to coordinate the airlift effort and ensure the success of the operation. Responded to challenges, the U.S. responded to a number of challenges during the airlift, including bad weather, Soviet interference, and mechanical issues with the aircraft. Despite these challenges, the U.S. and its allies were able to keep supplies flowing to West Berlin and prevent a humanitarian crisis. Overall, the U.S. played a critical role in the Berlin airlift, which helped to demonstrate the commitment of the Western powers to the people of Berlin and to the principles of democracy and freedom. The Berlin airlift, which was a massive humanitarian and logistical effort to supply West Berlin by air during the Soviet blockade, officially ended on May 12, 1949 after 11 months of continuous operation. This was when the Soviet Union finally lifted the blockade and allowed land and water routes to be reopened. However, the U.S. continued to maintain a military presence in West Berlin until the reunification of Germany in 1990. The Berlin airlift is considered a major achievement of the Western Allies during the early years of the Cold War and a symbol of the determination to defend freedom and democracy against Soviet aggression.